The Cabrera has been the best selling unicorn model. And the moment you'll step inside, you'll see why. It's lightweight and spacious, and it has an MTPLM of just under 1,600 kilos, meaning you can tow it with a car such as a Kia Sorento. Now, the layout inside is split into three distinct sections. At the front, we have the lounge of the kitchen. In the middle, we have the washroom, and at the end, we have the bedroom. So let's step inside and take a look. The Cabrera has a spacious and comfortable front lounge, and these are sprung rather than just being foam. You can see the new infinity window behind me, which is 50% bigger, and we have these curved locker doors in light oak, which again gives it that roomy feel. In terms of practicalities, think of two, four, and six. We have two TV points, one here and one in the bedroom. We have four USB points, and we have six 230 volt sockets. Now, the layout here is great for families. We had a Phoenix 760, which obviously isn't a unicorn, but we had the bunks at the end, the washroom in the middle, and the lounge at the front, and for us, it worked incredibly well. So in the kitchen, we have a brand new worktop with extendable end, which gives you more working space, as does this fold down top. Now, the oven has a separate oven and grill, a three burner gas hob as well as an electric hob. The microwave doesn't have a glass plate so you haven't got to store that somewhere safely when you're traveling and opposite the kitchen is the Dometic 133 litre fridge. So the Cabrera has a centre washroom and to my left is a separate shower which has a shelf for your toiletries as well as a handy hanging rail above to hang wet coats or towels. In the middle is a handy dressing space and a door that also shuts off the front of the caravan to the rear and acts as a separate door for the toilet. Inside the loo is a Belfast style sink. Now storage wise, there's a shelf behind the loo, there's a vanity unit below the basin and separate storage above. And most importantly, this curved section of the wall gives you that much more room. The Cabrera has a fixed island bed, and it has two modes. It has day mode and night mode. At the moment in day mode, the bed is pushed back, which gives you lots of room at the foot of the bed. In night mode, it pulls right out for that comfortable night's sleep. This bed is the widest so far in the Unicorn range, thanks in part to these curved wardrobe doors. Now, in the bottom of each wardrobe is a cubby hole for your nighttime essentials. At the foot of the bed, to my right, is a full-length mirror with shelf and socket below. And to my left is a separate vanity unit with storage below, as well as that all-important TV bracket, should you wish to watch TV in bed. There's additional space under the bed for storing bulkier items, such as chairs or picnic tables. Now, you can either access this from in here, because it's easy to lift up thanks to guest trust, or there's a handy through boot, which runs the full width of the caravan and is accessible by locker doors at either end. So in summary, the Cabrera has a very versatile layout with the bed at the back, the washroom in the middle, and the lounge at the front. It's also one of the lighter caravans in the Unicorn range with an MTPLM of just 1,600 kilos.